Howdy y'all, Caleb here, and we finally got it. The Scaly Skin Update. Uh, if, you'd, if you updated your Age of Sigmar app, you saw this already published out there. We haven't seen the update from Warhammer Community yet, but uh, comb through that app and see if you find any other, any other changes. This is the only one I saw, so maybe there's another one in there, but let me know. But Scaly Skin got updated. Look at, let's look at what it says here. Subtract one from the damage inflicted by each successful attack that targets a coalesce unit that has the Saurus, Croxigore, or Monster keyword to a minimum of one. So this is a big change for our coalesced, for Thunder Lizards, for Kotal's Claw. Um, this is going to make it to where we won't take as many Skinks in our list anymore. That was, that was one of the really good builds right now, was taking a big horde of Skinks in uh, your Thunder Lizard list. And that's no longer going to work. <laughs> they are going to be just way, way too fragile. So everything with a skink keyword, with a slon keyword, that's gone from scaly skin. They're going to take full damage in Coalesced. So those skink hordes, already fragile, low bravery, low save, and now they're not minus one damage. It's going to be hard to justify a skink horde in your Coalesced list. And I... To be honest, I think that's okay. I think with the new rules coming in this new General's Handbook, we're going to have some play with Source Warriors and Source Guard. So I think we've got some other options, especially here in uh, Kotal's Claw, might be playable now, um, but also in Thunder Lizard when you need a horde. So I'm glad they, they kept Croxagor in there because Croxagor, I think we're going to gonna play a good role for us in this horde meta. And uh, Source and Monster also get that. So, hey... A decent change, you know, I'm okay with that. Taking Skinks out of Coalesced, you know, we, we kind of want to be able to run Source, so I'm okay with that. It, it could have been a lot worse, guys. Uh, this Scaly Skin is one of the best, uh, it is the best attribute for our Coalesced side of things. And so I'm glad they didn't totally nuke it and that they just took it away from uh, Skinks. Now, the problem is, is, you know, it will hurt some of our other units as well. Um, we use a lot of support units in Coalesced. Um, so there's going to be some stuff that's losing it. All the units that are losing are Skinks, Chameleon Skinks, Ripperdactyls, Pterodons, Salamanders, Razordons, which I think I missed in the points update. Razordons went up 10 points? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I don't know why. But all of those things will no longer get scaly skin. So most of those you you weren't really, you know, Ripperdactyls, Pterodons, you saw occasionally in coalesced uh, salamanders you would see sometimes a lot of these things just got a lot easier to kill in coalesce and with their bad bravery it's just it's going to be hard to take them the ones that really hurt though are these support heroes lord croak and slon no longer get scaly skin so they don't have minus one damage which means that they're going to be a lot easier to kill i think that kind of <clears throat> balances out with having to take uh, a unit of source guard you know, I'm looking at taking not maybe not just five. I may spend some reinforcement points on my source guard. Um, I'm, I'm going to have a video out soon on the source guard. I think they have some decent play now with the ability to fight in ranks of two. Uh, that, that's that's a great great new ability for our source stuff. But we are always going to rely on the skink star priest. He's in every list, regardless of what you take. So. The Skink Star Priest and, to be honest, the Skink Priest as well, especially in Thunder Lizard. Thunder Lizard always has at least one Skink Priest. And now these guys are going to be a lot easier to kill. That Skink Priest only has four wounds, okay? Only has four wounds. And now you're not at minus one damage. This, is, this has got to be the easiest uh, support hero to snipe out of the game. <laughs> maybe, there's a, maybe there's another easy one, but four wounds on a <clears throat> five-up save is just so easy to kill in today's meta. And now he no longer gets scaly skin. He went up 10 points. So now it's 90 points for him. It's, hey, it's still really good bang for your buck. Like you're, there's still a lot that he does, but it's just so easy to kill now. So Skink Star Priest and Priest, I think those are the two things that, that hurt the most in my list, at least, losing scaly skin. Uh, Starseer, hey, a great tool for like knights, for source knights. Also a lot easier to kill now. So um, keep that in mind when you're list building in the new edition. Uh, these, these support heroes are still incredibly important, even for source. Um, 
and now they're going to be a lot easier to kill. <laughs> so if you want to dismantle a, a seraphim army, kill these skink priests. It's going to be a lot easier for you to do it and a lot easier for you to take off those synergies. So, hey, overall, I'm happy with it. Scaly skin still is uh, minus one damage for all, all the important stuff. <laughs> all right, guys. Catch y'all later.